Hey, this is Colton from BlipblashPC.com. Today we have the Antec 300 case. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and we're going to see what we have here. Alright, so just starting up, we have the Antec survey paper that they give with the case. They also have demonstrations of how to install the SSD. You have a three year warranty on the case, it shows. As you can see, it looks pretty solid. You can go through, it's pretty clear. Uh, we also have the case manual, which will just show you basically how to install the motherboard. If you have a certain full tower ATX, micro ATX, basically stuff like that. I'm going to go ahead and grab the case out now and see what we have. Alright, so it had a shield on, a static shield, and I went ahead and took that off. As you can see, there's no fan on the side on this case. This is just a basic 300 case. It does have a top fan. It's pretty nice looking. Uh, it's a real nice looking case overall. Um, it's just basic buttons up here. Power on. Reset is a little button right there, if you can kind of see it little tiny tiny button this is pretty much up close and personal with the case you have two USB ports you have all these extensions so you can put CD-ROMs in there you also have a floppy drive port uh, no fans up here on this case uh, some Antec 300 cases do have blue fans in the front but this is just a real cheap basic case for the Antec series and it's just a 300 without anything it has a Q shield on the back it probably won't work with your motherboard so you probably have to get it power supply unit as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and open the case now and see what we have inside. Alright, so the inside of the case here, we have the fan again and the fan up top. Uh, basic motherboard layout, it's pretty solid as you can see. Uh, there's no fans in the front like I've said before. It does have the CD-ROM tray cut out so you can put a CD-ROM in there. We have the fan connector up here, it's a Molex. Another a Molex up here and you can also control the fan speed as you can see. Um, other than that, we just basically have the uh, reset switch, the power button switch, let's see, the HDD LED, those plug into the motherboard. Uh, there's really not a whole lot more to this case other than that. It's pretty basic, but it's also very, very nice for the price. Uh, you're not going to find much better for this unless you're looking at a Cooler Master HAF series. But that's about it for the HA, uh, the Cooler Master Antec 300 case. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and post below and I'll try to respond. And I'll also post on how it runs for cooling in the description below. So thanks for viewing. I appreciate it. Hey, thanks for viewing this video. If you like it, uh, go ahead and thumbs up it below and subscribe above. Thank you.